In this video, you will learn how to use the Add a Class function in Buckeye Link. Please note that your enrollment appointment date and time is tied to your orientation date. You will not be permitted to enroll in classes on your own for your first term at Ohio State without attending an orientation program. It is also important to note that you will not be able to change your enrollment online after your orientation program. If you are building your schedule from scratch, you may find it most beneficial to use Schedule Planner. And there is another video tutorial that demonstrates how to use that feature. For this particular example, we are seeking to add just one class, so we'll begin in the Enrollment and Registration task at buckeyelink.osu.edu. From here, select the Add a Class icon to be directed to your personal Buckeye Link page. You may be prompted to log in using your username and password on the university's secure login screen, the same as what is required for your university email account. You will note that once logged in, you may need to change the term and year for which you want to enroll in classes. For this example, I am selecting Summer 2017, then I click Continue. On the Select Classes to Add page, you will want to note the 1, 2, 3 step guide. This will let you know where you are in the process of registering. Failing to complete all steps of registration is an error that we see often with new students, so please pay particular attention to this. I don't have a specific class section for which I'm trying to enroll, so I choose the search button to search for a class. I want to enroll in History 2201 at the Columbus campus. So I choose my campus and then scroll down the subject drop menu to History and type 2201 into the course number box. Then I choose Undergraduate for Course Career. I am only interested in open classes, so I leave the Show Open Classes Only box marked and click Search. By entering the class search screen from the Add a Class function, you will note that a select button appears for each section. This offering listed Section 010 on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 2.50 to 6 o'clock p.m. fits my schedule, so I click on the Select button. This next screen gives me the details for the class. Everything looks like I expected to, so I click Next. This next screen shows me that the system has added history to my shopping cart. A word of caution, the shopping cart feature will allow you to put a class in your cart even if you don't meet the prerequisites, or if the class is full, or if it creates a time conflict with another course in your schedule. However, the registration system should catch these errors before you finish enrolling. To enroll in this history class, I want to proceed to step two. To finish enrolling, I click on Finish Enrolling. If my enrollment is a success, I will see that message on this page. If I was prevented from enrolling, the message explaining why would appear here instead. To add another class to your schedule, click on the Add Another Class button, which brings you back to step one of the Add a Class page. For this example, I want to enroll in a biology class for which I already have the class number 12175. This screen shows that I have chosen the lecture for Biology 1113, Monday through Thursday, from 9.50 to 11.25, and is now prompting me to register for a lab. Because there are only three labs associated with this lecture, I can view them all on the same screen. If there are more than 10 sections offered, selecting View All Sections will enable you to view all sections offered. Also note that under the Status column, I can see whether any of the sections are closed or waitlisted. I should only be registering for open sections, as indicated by a green circle. The second number listed, class 12177, fits into my schedule, so I click on its button and then scroll down to click Next. This page shows that I have now selected the lab recitation section and then asks that I confirm the lecture by hitting Next. This page shows course information, including prerequisites. Clicking Next, I see that this class has been added to my shopping cart. From here, I can choose to add more classes to my shopping cart or complete registration at this point by clicking Proceed to Step 2 of 3. If I find that I have put a course in my shopping cart that no longer fits into my schedule, I simply click on the trash can symbol to the left of that course to remove it and start over. 
To see what my class schedule currently looks like, I can click on the My Class Schedule tab and either see my current schedule in list view or weekly calendar form. You'll want to refer to this calendar several times prior to the start of the term as changes in class times and locations will be noted here. As a reminder, the shopping cart and enrollment features of your student center will not be available to you until you meet with your academic advisors at orientation.